The topic of this video is multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Let's look at a problem. Divide, simplify. Okay, we have two rational expressions, both shown here in black, and they're being divided, shown here with the green division bar. The top rational expression is the trinomial 5x squared minus 26x minus 24 over the trinomial 6x squared minus 29x minus 5. The bottom rational expression also has two trinomials. The top one is 25x squared plus 50x plus 24 over the bottom one, 6x squared plus 25x plus 4. Okay, so the steps for dividing rational expressions are to factor all numerators and denominators, then to combine your fractions into a single fraction using the keep, change, flip rule, and then finally to reduce the resulting rational expression to lowest terms, which means we have to do four factoring problems, one, two, three, and four, as our very first step. Let's begin with the topmost trinomial. So we have 5x squared minus 26x minus 24. There are many ways to factor trinomials. The method that I'm going to be presenting in this video is the AC method. I'm using the AC method because the coefficient of my variable squared term is not 1. When there is a number here other than 1, the AC method is a very effective way of factoring the trinomial. Here's how it works. You identify the coefficients of each one of your terms as a, b, and c. You multiply the a and the c together. a times c, in this case, is 5 times negative 24, which gives the number negative 120. Then you have to find a pair of numbers that multiply to make 120, but add to make b. So in this particular instance, that would be, let's see here, we've got a negative 26, and we need to multiply to make a negative 120. What are some numbers that we might consider to do that? Well, one of the things that you can do when trying to come up with this particular combination is to make a list of numbers. And if you go in numerical order, this will make sure that you don't miss any. So for example, 1 and 120, those multiply to make 120. 2 and 60, 3 and 40, 4 and 30, and so on and so on. And because this is a negative 120, what that means is that one of the numbers in each row has to be negative, which means it will feel like subtraction. So we're looking for a pair of numbers in this list that when we subtract them, give us 26. This may seem like a contradiction based on what I said before when I wrote add. The reason why it's not a contradiction is because one of the numbers is negative, and when you add a negative, that's subtraction. So here's the pair of numbers we're looking for, a positive 4 and a negative 30. If you take a positive 4 and you multiply it by a negative 30, you get negative 120. But if you take a positive 4 and add it to a negative 30, or in essence subtract 4 minus 30, you get the negative 26. Okay, so now that we have our pairs of numbers, what do we do with them? We're going to use this number and this number to split this number into two pieces, which will turn our trinomial into a polynomial with four terms. So we're going to have 5x squared minus 30x plus 4x minus 24. Whatever variable you have here is the same variable you will have here and here because you're splitting this one term into two pieces. If you were to add a negative 30x and a positive 4x, it would get you back where we were, a negative 26x. You might also have noticed that I swapped the order of these numbers. There's a small rule in algebra that says if you put the smallest number first, it makes the rest of the problem easier, and a negative is smaller than a positive. All right, so now that we've split our middle term into two pieces, we use the method factor by grouping to continue factoring this problem. We split our first two terms from our second two terms, and then identify the GCF of the first two terms, which would be 5x. When we factor it out, we're left with x minus 6. 
Now we find the GCF of the second two terms, which would be a positive 4. And when we factor that out, we also get an x minus 6. Therefore, this is our common factor. So to write the next line of algebra, we have to write the repeated factor multiplied by the outside stuff. We have now factored our trinomial using the AC method. So we're going to take the result and we're going to put it in our problem. We now have the numerator of the numerator, x minus 6 times a 5x plus 4. And one more thing, I'll throw this in really quickly. You can always check factoring with FOIL. So if you were to FOIL this, 5x squared plus 4x minus 30x makes the minus 26x, and a negative 6 times a positive 4 makes a negative 24. All right, great. So we've completed our first factoring problem. I gave you a lot of detail while I was explaining it. For the next few problems, I'm going to provide less detail because factoring a trinomial is a skill that you should already know. All right, here we go. So three steps of factoring. We're already in descending order. There is no GCF. We've got three terms, and our variable squared term coefficient is not 1, so we use the AC method. A equals 6, B equals negative 29, C equals negative 5. So A times C equals 6 times negative 5, which equals negative 30. We need two things that multiply to make negative 30, but add to make negative 29. Well, that would be negative 30 and positive 1. Negative 30 times positive 1 is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 1 is negative 29. So these are the two values that we will use to split our middle term into two pieces. And we get 6x squared minus 30x plus 1x subtract 5. Factor by grouping. The GCF of the first two terms is 6x, and when we take it out, we're left with an x minus 5. The GCF of the second two terms is a positive 1, which means nothing changes, so this is still just going to be an x minus 5. Write the repeated factor first, x minus 5, followed by the outside stuff, 6x plus 1. We now have our second piece of our problem. Okay, let's move on to our third trinomial. Twenty five x squared plus fifty x plus twenty four. All right, once again, we're in descending order and there is no GCF, so we go directly into the AC method. A equals 25, B equals 50, C equals 24. The numbers are going to be a little bigger this time. So A times C is 25 times 24, which is 600. I need two numbers that multiply to make 600, but add to make 50. That would be 20 and 30. So I use the 20 and the 30 to split my middle term into two pieces. So I get 25x squared plus 20x plus 30x plus 24. Factor by grouping. The GCF is 5x, and when we take it out, we get 5x plus 4. The GCF here is 6, positive 6. And when we take that out, we get 5x plus 4. First write the repeated factor, 5x plus 4, then write the outside stuff, 5x plus 6. And so we have 5x plus 4, 5x plus 6. Okay, one more left to go. The denominator of the denominator. And that would be 6x squared plus 25x plus 4. 
We're already in descending order. There is no GCF. This is a trinomial whose variable squared term has a coefficient other than 1, so we use the AC method. A equals 6, B equals 25, C equals 4. AC is 6 times 4, which is 24. We need two numbers that multiply to make 24, but add to make positive 25. And that would be 24 and 1. Use the 24 and 1 to split the middle term into two pieces. 6x squared plus 1 plus 20, I'm sorry, plus 1x plus 24x plus 4. All right, factor by grouping. GCF of the first two terms is simply x. When you take it out, you get 6x plus 1. GCF of the second two terms is positive 4. When you take it out, you get 6x plus 1. Write the repeated factor first, then the outside stuff. All right, so we've now done all of our factoring. And that was step one of this three-step problem. But the good news is steps two and three are actually much shorter and much easier. Okay, step two is where we keep change flip. So we're going to keep the x minus 6, 5x plus 4 over x minus 5, 6x plus 1. We're going to change the green division bar into multiplication, and we're going to flip the bottom fraction over. So the 6x plus 1, x plus 4 moves to the top, and the 5x plus 4, 5x plus 6 moves to the bottom. Third step, combine all of these, I'm sorry, this is a continuation of the second step. Combine these two fractions into one. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut here. This is one fraction times another fraction. I've got parentheses everywhere. I'm just going to connect this across. Now it's all one fraction. And now finally, the third step. Cancel. Any factors that match top and bottom can be reduced to 1. So 5x plus 4, 5x plus 4, those both turn into 1s. 6x plus 1, 6x plus 1, those turn into 1s. And do we have any more? x minus 6, no match, no match. x plus 4, no match, no match. So now we can write our final answer. x minus 6, x plus 4, over x minus 5, 5x plus 6. This is called factored form of our final answer. x minus 6 is a factor. x plus 4 is a factor. Do not foil these to create a trinomial. That is not what my math lab is looking for. That is not what the software platform that we're using for this class is looking for. Leave your answer in factored form. And that's the end of this problem.